Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can create personal flashcards using PowerPoint. And as I said, it's personal, so I won't be showing you flashcards that you can create and sell. I'll be showing you ones that you can create and use perhaps with your students if you're a teacher or if you're at home with your kids, whatever the case may be, and you may need some personal flashcards, then you can use PowerPoint to get it done. So the first thing I'm doing here, guys, is to customize the slide size. So I'm just going up to search and <laughs> I'll just type in custom slide size. And whilst doing that, typing that in, you'll notice this pops up here. So I'm just selecting that and going to the right here and going down to custom slide size. So in here is where I'll be able to change the, the measurements. So for the width, it's going to be four inches. So I'll just keep tapping this until it reaches four or I can just raise that and type in four, make it a bit faster. <laughs> and um, make sure it's four inch, inches. And then down here, I'm going to make that five inches. Good, so now that that's done, I, I want it to be in portrait view, so I'm going to leave it as that, then I select OK. And for this, you have two options. You, as it says here, you can maximize or ensure the fit. I am going to select ensure fit. Good, so this is it now, guys. So once you have it like this, you can basically start adding your text and your pictures and so on. So for this, I am going to go to insert and then pictures. So here guys, you have the options of either inserting a picture from your device. So if you have pictures stored on your computer, you can use those if you, or you can go online to get online images or stock images. I'm going to use stock images and given that it's personal, it's not com for commercial use or anything like that, then I'm going to be using some stickers for this one. So I'm going to first search for cat. And then I'll just select from the different ones that are shown here. So I'm going to select this one to use. As you see here, you have lots of other types. That's lots of other uh, stickers of cats that you can use. But I am just using this one. Okay, so that's done. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to add some text. So I am going to go back to insert and I am selecting a text box here. And so now I'm just going to drag that and then enter in my word. So I just want to center that right now and then I'm heading up here to change the font size, make it a bit bigger. And then reposition it. And I'm going to change the font style as well to this one here. Good, so that's done. So on to page two. So I'm just going to select a new slide to get a new slide and I'll just remove these that I don't need. So I'll be, I'm returning to insert pictures, then stock images, stickers, and I want a dog this time. It does seem like I have much options here for a dog right now, which is very disappointing. <laughs> so, oh, but here they are. I don't know why that wasn't showing, any of these weren't showing up uh, for the dogs, but let me just choose from what we have here. Okay, I'll choose this one. Now I'm going to add some text here, guys. This. Yes. 
and I'm just changing the font style again okay so this is what we have so far uh, onto the third one so again select a new slide return into insert pictures stock images and here I am going to search for rabbits okay so I think I'll just go to illustrations and see if I can find a cartoon like illustration of a rabbit can't really use that gray one so that's what I have and then I'm going to go to insert <coughs> and I selected a new slide that wasn't supposed to happen returning here what I need to add right now is a text box so no for the rabbit and then So this is what I have here now guys and this is where I'm going to stop so now I'm going to show you how to save it as a PDF file and then I'll show you what that looks like when it's saved so I'm going to file save as and then I am going to of course save it to the PC here so the file I will enter in is flashcards and I'll select the PDF file type and then I'll save it. So now that that's saved, I'm going to go and search for it and show you what it looks like. So this is it right here, guys. So let me open it up. Okay, so this is it here, guys. So now you could just go ahead and print it if you have your printing cards ready that have the same dimensions so that's it for today guys i hope you found this video useful let me know in the comment section below also leave a like so i can know that you do until my next video i'll talk to you then goodbye